Hola estudiantes, ¿cómo están? I hope you've watched the first two Spanish videos and that you're well versed with understanding how and where to use personal pronouns because today we are going to be learning our first Spanish verb which is verb ser. Ser, that's what we call it. And the reason you see Shakespeare here is because ser, the verb means to be in English. Okay? Now, this verb is going to be used extensively in your sentences, in your dialogues, in your conversations. We are going to be using it to talk about descriptions. For example, the car is red. Okay, we are going to be using it to talk about our occupations. For example, I am a teacher. We are going to be using it to talk about someone. For example, my friend is very nice. Okay, we are going to be using it to talk about the time. The identity, your nationality, you are going to be using verbs ser for a lot of things. So, before we look at the conjugation, let's quickly look at the personal pronouns. Okay, let's quickly revise them so that in case if you have not, not really watched the video before, in the recent times, you'll quickly remember what were the personal pronouns. We started with yo. As you know, yo is I. I'm not going to write it down here. I want you to watch the first video if you really want a good recap of it. Or you can refer to your notes if you've written them down. Right now, we're just going to do a quick recap. All right? So, yo is I. Tu is you. And as we saw in Spanish, for you, we have a formal you and an informal you. Informal is tu. And formal, when you're talking to someone else, Okay, someone who holds a title, we use usted. Okay, él is he, ella is she, nosotros, nosotras means we, nosotros is used for masculine, nosotras is used for feminine personal pronoun. Then we have vosotros and vosotras. This is like the plural of two. When you're talking to a lot of your friends, you want to say you all, you're going to say Vosotros, if you're referring to only guys, and use vosotras if you're referring to only girls. And what if it's a mixed group? As we saw in the previous video, we are going to use the masculine personal pronoun. So we're going to refer to nosotros if you're talking about we as in a mixed group of girls and boys, and vosotros if you're talking to your friends, again, which is a mix of both the genders. All right? Now, if you want, if you're talking to, let's say, a lot of your teachers, you're not going to say vosotros or vosotras because it is informal. Okay, so if you're talking to a lot of your teachers or the relatives who are elderly, you're going to say ustedes. So you're still going to say you all, but this is formal, which means you pay respect. Okay, and then if I want to say they, we are going to say ellos for masculine and they for feminine is ellas. All right? Very good. Now, let us start with the same, same conjugation as per the personal pronouns. Now, always remember, just like in English, this changes as per the personal pronoun. So, the same conjugation is different for each personal pronoun which you see on the left. All right, let's start with you. For you, we will say soy. Here, yo soy means I am. Yo Soy. I am. Let's move on to tu. Tu eres. E R E S. Which means you are. Tu eres. You are. For el, ella, and us, that we just have one conjugation that you have to learn, which is S. Okay, which can mean he or she is. Or in case of usted, this would be again you are but formal. El, ella, usted, es. Are right, for nosotros and nosotras, we have somos, which means we are. Nosotros somos, nosotras somos. Let's move on to vosotros. Vosotros sois, vosotras sois. Which means you all are. Vosotros sois, vosotras sois, you all are. Again, for ellos, ellas, ustedes, we just have one ser conjugation, which is 
son. Okay, which means they are or again you all are in case of a formal conversation. Okay, now let's look at these again and let's also practice a pronunciation. Yo soy, I am. Tu eres, you are. El es, ella es, usted es. He is, she is, you are. Nosotros somos. Nosotras somos. We are. Vosotros sois. Vosotras sois. You all are. Ellos son. Ellas son. Ustedes son. They are. All right? Now, let's do a bit of a practice in sentences where we can utilize these conjugations. All right? So, I know that you're going to come across some new words. Don't worry about them. We are going to translate them as well. All right? So, we already know what ella is, right? Ella is she. Una is an article, an indefinite article. We have not looked at it. So, I'm going to write down what it means. An. We have a and an. Una here is an or a as well. Amiga is friend. Okay. Here it is. Just think of it as oh here. Ella dash una amiga. So in English, this would be she is a friend. All right. Now we are going to use our cell conjugation that we just saw to put here. So if you remember, if you have noted down, what is the cell conjugation for ella? It is S. Ella es una amiga. She is a friend. All right. Now let's say I have to say he is a friend. How will we say this? He is a friend. We'll say L and E has an accent. S. Un amigo. Okay. Don't worry about these. We are going to be looking at these later in our sessions as to why this una has become un or this amiga has become amigo. For now, I want you to focus on the ser conjugation. L-S-A-R-S. Exactly the same that we just saw in our previous slide. Alright, now let's go to the next one. Ellas dash amigas dash hermanas. Alright, now I have taken a negative sentence here. Okay, let's first try and understand what this sentence is and then we'll look at the conjugation. Ellas is they. Okay, this is your say, conjugation. And what I want to say here is, they are not friends. Then what are they? They are sisters. Hermanas. If you guys remember, H is always silent. When we were doing greetings, I told you about hola. We never say hola. We always say hola. So, always remember H is silent here as well. When you start pronouncing, you are going to start from the E. Hermanas. Okay. Now, I want to say they are not friends. They are sisters. What is the negative word here for not? It's going to be, just like we have it in English, no. And it always comes before the verb. Never after the verb. Okay? So, now can you tell me what is the conjugation for ellas? As we saw it in the previous slide, it is son. Ellas, no son amigas. They are not friends. What are they? They are sisters. Again, we are going to use the same conjugation. We don't really need to repeat this because if you noticed it in the slide where we spoke about the conjugation, son is only used for eos, eas or ustedes. And eos and eas always mean they. They do not change their meaning. So even if you do not put eos or eas here, the statement is still crystal clear. We want to say they. Alright? 
So, ellas no son amigas. They are not friends. What are they? Son hermanas. They are sisters. Alright, let's go to the next one. Yo, what is yo? And doctor is again doctor. The word is universal, exactly the same as in English. It's just that there is a little difference in the pronunciation. Doctor. Yo soy doctor. Which means I am a doctor. Here we are, we are not going to put any indefinite pronoun which is o or an. We are going to be looking at it later as to why do we do not use it. But just remember when you are just describing an occupation, do not put anything here. Yo soy doctor. Or yo soy doctora in case of a female. Yo soy doctor or yo soy doctora. Alright. The next one. Vosotros. Okay. Now here it is second person plural. You all are estudiantes, students. Okay, students, it's plural because we are using a plural person pronoun. Okay, these two have to go hand in hand. You all are students and your conjugation for vosotros is sois. Correct? Let's just quickly go through our previous site and then let's go again through these sentences. Okay, the first one that we looked in is she is a friend. She in Spanish is ella and as we look to the ser conjugations, ella is always followed by es for ser conjugation. Ella es una amiga. They are not friends, they are sisters. Here we looked at a negative sentence. Okay, so now we also have this knowledge that if I want to use verb ser in a sentence and if I want to make it negative, where do I put the negative word no? It always has to be before your verb. So, ellas no son amigas, son hermanas. They are not friends, they are sisters. The next one that we looked at is, how do I say I am a doctor in Spanish? Yo soy doctor or yo soy doctora. Okay, difference of the two genders. I am a doctor, yo soy doctora. And the next one that we looked at is, you all are students. Okay, so we are going to use this air conjugation for vosotros, which is sois. Vosotros sois estudiantes. Alright? Great job. I hope that you have understood how to use the verb ser. Always remember the best part about this conjugation is if you have seen all of these are distinctive. So you are not really going to mix them up. Okay? For you, you always have soy for tu it is always eres. For ele as it is always es. So, if you want to say something like, let's say, I am tall. Let's say I want to say that I am tall. Yo soy alta, which means I am tall. Okay? If I skip this yo, it's still fine. Because when I say soy alta, I'm definitely not going to be speaking about anyone else but me. Because if you see, soy only goes with you. There is no soy anywhere here. So you should know that these personal pronouns only have very unique conjugations. So I can definitely skip the personal pronoun and directly start with the say conjugation and whatever you want to say after that. All right. Mm, let's look at one more, um, one more example. I want to say... She is nice. Okay. Which is ella es amable. Think of amable as nice. If I just say es amable. Okay. Just make sure when I say es amable, it can mean he, it can mean she, it can mean you in a formal conversation. So, as long as the person you are talking to knows whom you are referring to, you can definitely skip the personal pronoun. Okay? As amable, she is nice. So, I alta, I am tall. Alright? So, that's how this is like 
In English, we don't do this. We always make sure to use the personal pronouns, especially when we're starting with the conversation. But in Spanish, since all the conjugations are distinctive to their personal pronouns, we can skip the personal pronouns in almost 99% of your sentences or your conversations. All right. I hope you have understood well how to use verb ser in a sentence. How, where is it put? Okay. If I want to make a sentence negative with ser, how do I do it? All right. I hope you have noted down these things as well. If you feel you still have any doubts or questions, you can definitely go back, watch the video again, pause it wherever you want and write down the notes. All right. Thank you so much for your time and hasta luego.